going on, you guys? Mr. Fan TV coming to you live from Harrison, New Jersey at Ripple Arena. And we're here with Viking Army's Steve and Neil. Guys, it's been a while since we last seen each other. And the last time we saw it and the last time we saw each other, another great win against Tijuana. Now another great Tuesday that also involves four goals and some kind of Mexican related imagery with Cinco de Metro today. Take us away, how do you feel? Great. I mean, I honestly expected this. I really felt like that these guys would come in and play hard. I just didn't expect the kind of butt kicking that they just got, that NYCFC just got. And the fact that they had this many fans here and most of them left before the match even ended, what was like 20 minutes left? That was How can you be considered a true fan and you're going to leave before the match is over? You should take your ass kicking and then go home. Thank you. Don't leave before the ass kicking is over. Take your ass kicking and then go home to a baseball stadium. The Yankees don't even like that you're there. Let alone, I mean, I don't even know why you're there. Judge is gonna die! Because I don't like the FC! Don't do it fine right now! I guess, the, I guess the major question is obviously we talked about coming out of the games and Let's go. Haku with a goal in the system the first four minutes of the game. Right. I mean, he's just been a man on fire, hasn't he? Like, when you talk about game changers, I really feel like he's the one. He is. Absolutely. I mean, he's, he's the type of guy that I feel like this team has needed for a long time and he really just, he gives all these fans just a big positive outlook and belief that this team could really do a lot of damage and they certainly showed it today. And I was really impressed throughout the entire match and Kaku really played well. Hey, if you're not on the Kaku hype train now, you better be on it. I don't know when you're That's the truth right there. Uh, I guess, uh, yeah, I mean, talking about the Kaku hype train, it's been eight games. It's been Hashtag eight games! <laughs> yeah, it's been exactly eight games. And, uh, you know, I mean, the entire time that he's been here, I mean, maybe a bit of a spotty start at the start, but as soon as... He seemed to have integrated it into the first, week, first 11, like, faster than we anticipated, right? Does this make us, how much of a better, more of a better team do you think this makes us? Do you I think this makes us one of the best in the East, or? I think it does, honestly. I think this makes us a force throughout not just the East, but the entire MLS. I think that we are a force to be reckoned with, and I don't think anybody should take us lightly, because if they do, this team's going to attack. That's going to happen. And they're going to make, and that's exactly what's going to happen every single game. If you take us lightly, you're going to get ass kicked like you did today. No matter whether we're at home here or we're on the road. So, everybody in the MLS better watch out, because the Red Bulls are coming. And I guess when you talk about, I think, uh, when you talk about these sort of performances, of course, like the press is vital when Adams and Davis are on the field. Right. Tyler Adams had been hey, a bit. Davis is from my area, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, there was a bit of concern about Tyler Adams going into this game because, you know, he, had, he just kind of looked a bit off the pace. Hadn't really played at the high levels that he played at. But he came out here today and basically was the reason why the press was as high octane as it was. Is this a return for Ty or Tyler Adams? Yes. 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 I think 100%. 100%. I think Tyler Adams is back. I think he's in form. I think he'll just only get better and better with the more games that he plays. His development will continue to grow and he'll have a lot more success. And don't be surprised if he starts putting the ball in the back of the net too. Uh, I guess now looking ahead. Um, Colorado away, Atlanta away, and then we come back here for the Memorial Day weekend here against Philadelphia. Two hard games and then maybe a easy one. Like, how does this look your company's going in there? I got some confidence. I got some confidence. Atlanta, maybe. What am I doing? You know, Atlanta's still a new team. This is their second year. They're still trying to, you know, create an identity. And looking at Colorado, yes, they're a talented team, but I think the Red Bulls have a chance to win all three of these matches. I think they're that good. I think they're that capable of having that like, success, even on the road. As long as they continue to play the way they played today, they continue to put the pressure that they did, they know it's every game they're going to be unstoppable throughout the entire season. Nine points, three games. You heard it here first on Metro Fan TV.